Good morning. We are going to do some hip mobility today. I am Jen Wilson, the Healing Rebel. This one is a great one you can do sitting on the floor. If you're watching the TV rather than sitting on the sofa, sofas are really bad for us. How many people get sore hips and sore backs from sitting on their sofa? Hands up, me. Definitely me. This one is nice and simple to do. There are some options if anybody has had a hip replacement, then I will give options for that. First thing we're going to do is sit down in an L shape, so legs out in front, toes pointed up to the ceiling, and sitting with a straight back. Now, if this is not possible for you, raise your hips up on a yoga block or a pillow. Let me just grab one to show you. Bring that closer. Oops. So just taking a block to sit on. Have your hips raised just that little bit higher that can take the pressure off especially if you have tight hamstrings but this is going to help release those hamstrings right so we're sitting up tall you're going to lean over to one side you're going to bend your leg have your toes pointing behind you and then you're going to just gently roll the calf out the way so depending on the muscle size of your calf muscles and your thigh muscles your foot might be pointed off to the side, it might be more pointed behind you, but make sure your knee is not uncomfortable. So if it is uncomfortable, your foot will just be a bit further out. And then from here, can you bring yourself into an upright position? If you can't, no problem, you will stay over here and you will rock your hips back and forward, just trying to ease that tension off. Now, if you are leaning over, be aware of this shoulder, so you've not got your shoulder up around your ear. We want to protect the joint. So stay up out the joint. I'm going to move this foot round into the second position. Solo the foot into the inner thigh and let the knee drop out to the side. Some people will have their knee resting on the floor. Other people, like myself, will have their knee lifted up. That can sometimes be tension and tightness in the muscles around the groin area. It can also be the shape of the head of your thigh bone and how it sits into your pelvic bowl. So we're never trying to force anything. We're just trying to relax into this space as much as possible. So if it does feel tight, you're just going to rest your hand on there and very gently press in a downwards motion. So if there's not any motion there, then it's likely the shape of the bones. So that's not going to change. And that's okay. Then we're going to bring our knee up and start with your foot to the inside of your knee. Now, if this if you have a hip replacement, this is where you're going to stop with this position. If you haven't had a hip replacement, you're going, to bring, you're going to see if it's okay for you to bring this foot over to the outside. Now, you can hold on to your shin to hold it upright, especially if you find you've started to slump here. This is just going to help stretch out the outside. So if anybody's had a hip replacement crossing your legs, particularly your thighs, is not good for the, joint, for the new joint. And then this one, if you have had a hip replacement, you would be able to bring your ankle up onto your knee and then maybe move that foot a little bit further over. If your foot's already on the other side, can you walk it a bit further over to bring your thighs closer? Now, anything that feels painful or uncomfortable, don't do it. Back away from it. Again, we're looking to be sitting up tall here. So if you've started to slump, you might need the pillow underneath. You might need to just back out of the move a little bit more. And again, the size of the muscles around the thighs and calves is going to determine how close your knees are to being stacked on top of each other. So that's the fourth position where we're going to go all the way back to the first position. And you're either leaning over and rocking, or if you're sitting upright, hands onto your long leg, take an inhale, and then as you're exhaling, start to tilt forward. Now I'm just going to quickly spin round. As you're tilting forward, keep the ribs tucked in, keep the chin tucked in, so that we're not collapsing through the spine. You want to stay tall here to get that length. So you might feel a bit more of a stretch through the back of this long leg. And then you're going to bring that up, bring your foot round to the inner thigh. We're going to do the same thing over that long leg. So with this long leg, make sure the toes are still pointing up towards the ceiling. We want to keep this long leg active and can we keep the ribs tucked in keep the chin tucked in the shape might feel slightly different just because you've changed what's going on over on this other side 
Then we're going to bring the foot in. So either to the inside or to the outside of your knee. Your opposite hand is coming round, so wrapping round. Other hand goes behind. And think about trying to rotate your ribs round and look over your shoulder. Again, check that long leg. Toes are still pointing up to the ceiling. Bring it all the way back. And then bring that top leg a bit further over. And then again, taking that lean forward rib, staying tucked in, chin staying tucked in. You might feel a little bit more intense, this stretch. You might feel it in different places. Make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. Bring that back, lengthen that leg out, lean back, pad the knees up and down, flop the feet from side to side. And then just notice that leg that we have just been moving around. It might feel like it's sitting slightly longer than the other leg, so we will quickly balance that out. Roll over to the other side. And we're exploring as we go through here. When we start to work on this side, the experience might be completely different depending on what's going on in your body. So this side might be looser, it might be tighter accommodate for what's going on on this side bring the sole of the foot round into that inner thigh and let this leg relax out this long leg toes are pointing up then bringing the knee in to the inside of the knees to start with then seeing how it feels to come to the outside remember hold on to the shin if you find your posture is collapsing here and then can we bring that foot a little bit further over? So just these four different positions. And then on the next round, we're going to go through the stretches, the additional stretches there. We come back to position one. If you're sitting up right here, hand onto the long leg, start to reach forward. Remember, ribs stay tucked in, chin stays tucked in, so that the spine's staying long. Nice full breath. Bring it back, bring the foot round to the inner thigh and again sitting tall. Take an inhale as you're exhaling, can you lean forward? And then bringing that back. Bringing your foot either to the inside or outside of your knee. Opposite arm wraps round. Turn the ribs, other hand anchored behind. Looking over your shoulder, take a full breath there. Back to the center. And then taking that cross over just a fraction more, sitting up tall. And can we take a lean forward here? So if things are really tight, having a wee wiggle around can help release some of that tension. We don't need to sit really still and pulling and pulling. When we can move around, spiral into things, that's sometimes where we get the release of unnecessary tension. And then bring that back, lean back, lengthen that leg out, pad the knees up and down, flop the feet from side to side. And then come back to sitting upright, lift the toes pointed up. If you were sitting on a block, maybe try and take the block away, see how that feels to come into this position. Things might have improved, it might feel more comfortable to be here, you might feel more spacious in the hips. So give that a go. Do it right, do Drop them in the comments wherever you're watching this as soon as I can. So have a fabulous day, whatever you're up to. Um, remember, I am Jim Wilson. Make sure you follow me, subscribe anywhere that you are on social media or the internet.